Patterns are terrible in detecting patterns from tables of data. That's why Microsoft Research came up with Sundance, a touch-enabled visual insight hunting tool. Today, I'm going to take you through a scenario of troubleshooting telemetry data from machines. This data was married with data from our ERP systems to hunt for reasons why the machines are vibrating too much. So let's take a look at the tool. The data to this tool may come from a web source or from the local upload. You just upload or connect your data to the browser and you're ready for hunting. So let's take a look at this data. What are we looking at? Each of the machines is represented by a dot. Each dot is representing a row in a flat table. In this table, we have various data that was married together. For example, who the installation partner was, what components are we using in this machine, and where the machine is whether it has any modifications, what is the model number, what's the vibration. And then we could see that on the x-axis, there are machines clearly visible that are shaking too much. And we could select these and go do some analysis. For example, we could take a look at whether it's an issue that is specific to a certain ge geography. So in this case, we're going to say X is my longitude. And these are major cities where these machines are deployed. And we see that it's not a regional issue. So most likely, it is not uh, an issue that is specific to a certain partner. So let's take a look at, let's say, column. And the X is going to be our vibration amplitude. And maybe we want to take a look at maybe that is an issue of um, an installer. So we're going to do a color by the installation part. The installer technician and we see that there is not much patterns that we could get from here um, let's take a look let's do a faucet by installation partner and we see that pretty much every partner had problems and machines that vibrate too much so how can we analyze it even further Let's do a faucet by installation date. And we can see that the problem started in 2013. These machines are still shaking too much. And it still goes on to this day. So this probably is not a time-specific problem then. So let us remove the fauceting. We could select this data, and the beautiful thing about this tool is that the data will remain selected as even if we change how we view the data. Let's take a look at maybe some components. Maybe the belt sets are to blame, but we see that there are instances in SAT 2B that are still shaking too much. So this is probably not the problem. Let's take a look at the controller boards. Still no definite answer here. Okay, let's take a look at maybe that is a distributor in-house mod that is to blame here. And let's reset the fauceting to so basically there is a mod or there is no mod and we see that in some instances 
you know, the most of the instances are having some sort of a mod. That is interesting. Let us save this as an insight. So maybe the mods are to blame. So these modifications might be a source of it. So let's take a look at maybe, let's remove the faucet. I reset the selection and I want to take a look at maybe the bedding set. And now we are really onto something that is signifying that all of the failures are in bedding set C. So that's definitely is one of the factors. We see that some of the C machines are working fine. How can we marry this with the previous inside that there are modifications and bearing C? Uh, let's take a look at maybe who is doing all these modifications. Maybe there is an add-on that is being installed. And we see that all of the vibration cases are here by the add-ons made by Rick's shop. That is a challenge. Let's take a look at maybe coloring it by the bedding set. And we'll see that the bedding set C coupled with an add-on from Rick's shop we see that it gives us most problems. So this is definitely a line of inquiry that we can take further with our technicians. That's what we see from the data. So this is a, just a simple overview of how we can use this visual tool to take advantage of our human natural ability to see patterns in visual representations.